Let's try this again. Seems to be okay now. No idea why it was uh, giving me such shocking frames. Why did you take so long to load? <laughs> right, so where was I? Yes, I'm going to try and do the Storm Boy for this one. if we ever get into the game. <laughs> Looks okay. Yeah, the frame rate's staying steady. I don't know why. Before it just get bounced all the way down to like nine. Uh. shooter which I might change. I know they've not even got the um say then they've not even got the sounds for the six shooter yet. Mm. So when you fire it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Alright, so Right, now just to get a match. I love the old jump backs. Mm. It's just a shame at the moment that not ignoring the looters, where well obviously they've got kind of the set standard plasma, laser and the rest of it. Mm -hmm. um, there is no sort of power fist. Uh, the power claw's not been added yet. So, yeah. Whereas these guys were in the space being side of all were good for sort of combat. You could also take out a tank from behind. You kind of can't with these guys. They do they shot against tanks. I'm now really hyped up and excited about Star Citizen again. I shouldn't be because it's probably never <laughs> going to come out anywhere near. So after watching some of the footage and incredible acts, uh, the thing is, is the problem with that game is what they promised. Mm -hmm. If they actually can achieve that, it's one that is the one of the greatest games ever created. The question is, would they ever achieve it? Yeah, that's the thing. 
computer literally enter a world and you can be what the hell you wanted to be and affect that world around you, you can be an explorer, a pirate and everything but not in the usual sense of games, it's oh you could be you could do this is an app, but you're restricted to be just on a ship or this is an this, you can literally do anything yeah. it's quite a tall order really I just wish they'd really get one of the ships flyable that I've got, I've got Redeemer it was the one that won the competition um, yeah. In fact, then the Four Horsemen, I found they were called the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, who created, or Four Horsemen, should I say, who made the ship. And then most of them ended up getting jobs there at Star Citizen anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice ship, you, you can get, put it in the hangar, you just can't fly it. Right, let's have a look how it goes. You're going to have a lot of pissed off people. If it doesn't work, um, you know, it's. I think yeah, I look at my account and I've spent about four hundred five hundred dollars over the years. Mm -hmm. Um that's nothing compared to some of the people that spent thousands. Literally thousands on it. This is a map I really enjoy, but there is a big bug on B. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, you fall Yeah, the After a while, uh, for some reason it decides that if you try and spawn in B, you you spawn above the lava and go straight into it. Basically means if you're defending B at one point or another, you become completely fucked. Yeah. You actually have to spawn somewhere else and run to it. Oh, no, no. Yeah, no, the mic fixed. Let's head towards A. Um, let's have a look. Lee UK is our uh, commander, but he's not putting any sort of tags of where to go, so... I, think, I don't know what happens with it yourself. Never mind. Alright, it's so the House of Volumes. Good match, sort of thing. Yeah. I'm sure it helps that one. Oh, you know. Now, I don't know how they're going to do in the balance ways when it comes to this game. Because they did make a comment once that if it was an orc versus a tactical marine, space um, chaos otherwise, the chaos one should win, or the space marine should win. So I don't know how you're going to offset that to make it fair. Space means so you'd have to make sure that when the game's played, instead of being 20 versus 20, the orc should have maybe 30 versus 20 or something. Yeah. I don't know how that will work. Watch your boys, time for shinies. I still love the chat. Time for shinies. <laughs> They still use all the kind of... I wish they changed the hood. I wish, um, depending on what you pick, it has that little flare. Um, so, for example, if you um, are going to be an orc, it shouldn't have kind of space mean feeling um, hood sort of icons. Yeah, uh, it should be the kind of thing. You know, it would be cool. The same with Eldar, I mean... Right, 
where is actually it? Where, where am I actually going? That must be another error. The amount of times I get stuck on these little bits like this. Oh, complete. It's quite nice. Space me ones, and it's basically going to be like a car door. That's what I like. Spawning in lava, someone's mentioned, so um, the spawn point would be screwed already. Yeah, um. Um, no, definitely Black Thunder. The amount of times I've watched through some of the old videos of us a lot all playing uh, World of Tanks. And the, um, yeah, the Bang Bang one, and you also had the uh, YOLO! Still some guys in our games of gaming playing. Uh, Why can't you play in your World of Tanks card anymore, that Thunder? That's a shame, because we like, play, used to play all the time. What happened? You. 
It's weird though, because I think the game just sometimes feels really, really balanced, and then sometimes you play and it just doesn't. Um, I don't know if it's because it, they keep tweaking it or just because I'm, I'm doing that crap. I don't know. <laughs> It definitely feels that the orcs work in a kind of way where you have to literally do it en masse. Get back up here. That was an unusual uh, execution. Just put down, watch them die. Can't you recover your password again, though, Black Thunder? You must be able to recover a password somehow to get your account back. Yeah, do it. Remember your email address. Yeah, depends. You have lots of email addresses. If you can't remember that, that's when that could be a problem. Uh, I do like the fact this team Yay! There's um friendly fire on. I uh, hate it when you get these um School of Munchery, I'm pretty sure it's my friends with. Um I, I hate it when you got games where there's no friendly fire so it's just really easily just open up your gun in in into a room and doesn't matter who you hit, I prefer it when it's friendly fire, but this is so easy to get. Ah, so all your kind of security way of getting your password back, you kind of can't use anymore. So you've really kind of, so if you, did you create a, a new password, new account sort of thing? Because in World of Tanks I didn't get that far, I mean I was in... Ninja, do you remember how far I got in that? I'm pretty sure it was pretty much mid tiers and that was it. About tier 5 I think. Yeah. yeah I think you guys all got to um, like tier 10s and stuff but... Yep. Again, this is another weird thing about this game. You'd think of the amount of people playing their different factions. You'd go and queue up and you'd be in different matches all the time but it doesn't seem to work that way it seems to be like one night I'll be on here and if you're watching any other streams or past recordings I will literally be against Eldar the whole night and then next time I play I'll be against Space Moons the whole night it doesn't change it doesn't be like Space Moons 1 then then Chaos whole night so this is my next match um, for a random match we're making it's uh, Chaos again Like I said, I'm going to try and stick with um, Storm Boys. Um, <coughs> for the past couple of ones, I've done. Um, I've concentrated on looters or the shooters. So we'll see how we go with this. I'll jump between them if I need to, but I'll try and stick to one just to get the feel of them all. Um, see what I can tweak and adjust. I master that ground smash. Yeah, the ground smash is not bad, but it feels like once it's activated, you're going in that... It's like a boost into that direction. Um, so if they're running, then it's really weird. I think I don't think it's so much awkward control. I generally think it can be partially me half panicking in the middle of a fight. <laughs> now this, if you're an attacker, can be notoriously difficult. How this particular match runs, it, instead of just having A, B and C which you can capture at any point you want, this is kind of like um, a, a chain, so you have to capture A, and then B, and then C. Yeah, um, it's just it's rush, is it? Yeah, rush. But to try and capture A is ridiculous. Um, uh, Disciples, I have tried both. Um, one thing I like is in a patch or two ago, they've made things that you put in your loadouts more expensive. Because for a while, when there was more loadout options, 
it was very easy to make a really, really, really kind of OP character and have points left. Now it's not like that. It is it is quite difficult to get a fine spec uh, because things are so expensive. Now I find I use a red armor, which is I know that the gold armor is supposed to be a bit better, but I use the red armor because sometimes trying to um, manage that 100 extra points is sometimes just needed. Most of my characters are literally at... Um, For me, as much as I think the gold armor in spec wise on paper is probably better um, to get a decent weapon or sometimes add those essential trinkets and war gear or have a, have a health pack, I'd choose red just because that 100 points sometimes matters. Beforehand, before it all changed, I probably would have gone for gold all the time but it's just so difficult, especially with some of these sort of guys, some of the kind of storm boys. Um, a lot of the, I find a lot of melee weaponry can be quite expensive, so if you've got like, um, especially with space marines, if you're using ground assault, or if you're using um, the kind of the jump pack guys, you, you can basically chew up all your points before you even decide what armor you want to do. Which makes it very, very difficult. So yeah, red all the time, just because I need the points. Too, too well. uh. Oh, Black Thunder, that's a shame. So you literally have no ability to actually get any of your details back at all. That's a shame. Now you got me thinking though, um, I might have to um, redeem my specs just to try with gold armor. I always forgive. Unless someone basically team kills them, there's no point. It's such a kind of whirly ball of destruction. Yeah, I wonder if I maybe take off some of those. Um, trinkets. The trinkets are only about 10 20 points, so they're not a huge amount. Um, but if I, yeah, if I take. Nope, I've not done that, should have done that. Um, yeah, when you get into an execution, you can't do anything, so me stupidly doing that means I just sit sitting duck. Um, so I take off some of the war gear, trinkets, and potentially even my consumables, because this game you die so often, sometimes you never even use your health back. Um, I could potentially try with the better um, arm and see how I survive better. Oh, I did it again, I did it again. I never learn, I never learn. They must, that must be an error, but maybe this particular character that doesn't have the animations done for the executions because you stand there and watch him die. In a kind of, I don't know what I'm doing, sort of look. Jesus, you've actually attacked him B already. Close combat is a, a bigger learning curve. Um, I, I constantly forget that you've got three different attacks, and when you get into a fight, the amount of time to just button bash my normal slow attack. But the minute they get the idea that I'm just bashing a standard attack, they can use their uh, stun kick or the power attack and just pretty much take you out. I need to do a lot more practice, so I've now picked. Um, Here's another error. Sometimes the colour disappears from your model, so we're all white. Oh, 
There we go. I concentrated down and generally did power attacks. And actually kicked the shit out of someone. I think that's us taking B back, which is not bad. They have a rhino. <laughs> Out of way. What, you mean the colour thing? I know... Oh, I fucking hate you guys. I know... I know what they're planning to do. There's, there's a lot more they still need to do. But what the idea is, is um, all of your characters, um, I know it's nowhere near implemented, a lot of your characters, what will happen to your space means otherwise if you start taking hits and start taking damage, you're actually supposed to have cracks up here. I can't do anything here. Um, you, you have cracks up here. Um, Run away. Run away. Um, but you're right, what will happen is, like for the Orcs, they've got um, very, very basic leather armor. What's going to happen is you're going to have more customizable armor. And the more hit you get, the more you get cuts and, and, and armor missing. At the moment, it's just an error. What will happen is, at one point, you'll stand there, and for some reason, everybody it's has gone white. Time. And there's no reason why, it's just all the Orcs are white. That's just a, a graphical error. I'm actually looking forward to when they do put all this extra stuff in because you're supposed to be able to customise your guy so all orcs will look the same, you'll have different teeth, different sort of emblems and all this sort of stuff. Um, things like that. Um, I don't know what the customization will be in the Space Marines to bugs. Maybe it's just little things like seals and all this sort of stuff that you can put onto your armor. I know Orcs can be very facial orientated. And that depending on what armor like what armor you actually pick, you know that the red and silver ones. Go, oh, aren't you flying? There you go. Um It'll look awesome I think. Um but, so all the guys have got armors on and you have different colouring I think, except for the basic colour, because obviously you have a bit death skulls, so they'll be blue, um, but it would be cool to actually have a more customised, you know, face and stuff, you know, have different teeth and like, if it's anything to do with um, the actual proper uh, table token, there's metal jaws and all this sort of stuff and scars and things, I think it'll look awesome. I'm a big Orc fan in most games to be honest. I don't think Orcs are used enough in games. I think I managed to circle around the actual battle. Where the f I can't go. Okay. Oh shit. Go 
we could win this six minutes ago. I think if they can. Sorry, they capture. <coughs> Sorry, if they capture a point, so you look green and white, green and white. Um, if they capture a point, I think they add time onto it. So if they get B back, they've got a decent chance of pushing it. If they don't, we're going to win. Black Thunder. I think it's a one or two shot kill and you have to do this simple jab and then one big whack and you're gone. I'm hoping they're also going to add more to shit. I'm hoping they're going to add to oh shit. And more to the PvE. Um, it would be really, really cool. Um, instead of having, because with the two hundred hive, you've just got like three big rooms and connecting tunnels. And once you do all three big rooms, it's like, yeah, you've done it. Like, cool. I didn't expect a heck of a lot more. So I thought it was a shame. Shit.
Um, I think, I don't know if you have, but I last I heard they were supposed to be adding um, our shit to can see. Supposed to more of a really big land balance. Because Fort, I think it's Harkus, is interesting the fact that you have to bombard the kind of giant walls and bring them down to get in and capture the two points. I love the idea of those huge battles. Um, one thing again that, that from playing Space Means so much until the Orcs were released, Space Means and things like um, Eldar have um, like the, the big prisms and you've also got the big vindicator which can be used to just decimate and take down those doors I don't think orcs have a third um, a third vehicle yet so they've got the basic machine gun and last kind of gun thing but when it comes to how to take those walls down they don't, don't have like a, a really really big kind of lobo or shooter or some shit to actually take those big doors down I believe so it's kind of a little bit unfair when you play the orcs as a as a defender so an attacker should I say so when you play as an attacker you pretty much only have the ability I was the best executioner apparently um, so when you're attacking um, hacker for hackers as an orc you pretty much have to either go to the south of it and crawl through one of the tubes or go up the ramps to get to the very top on the north so with the two big doors, to, uh, one's got a bridge that's smashed and one's got uh, basically a bridge straight over I'm pretty sure the orcs don't have the ability to get through them um, unless it's with small arms fires that you just have to keep doing over and over again but I have to see because I know they've got a looted tank a looted tank and a, and um, what looks like an orc truck, but with a, kind of a, a roof over it. I don't know if they're going to actually have big battle wagons, and that might be the thing. Oh my god, it's changed from chaos to space moons. Exactly the same idea. And so I have to watch out for um, them healing themselves better. Well, well, the aspiring um, sorcerer does that now anyway when it first was aspiring so seemed to be better was an offensive than a defensive thing. Right. Okay, jump apart from the game. Same game again. bad when they got uh, three and a half minutes. Oh no, no 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 If anybody doesn't know, um, obviously you've got people like pain boys and stuff like that to heal you. But if you go to any supply crate now they'll really give you ammunition back to heal you. It saves your waste potentially uh, consumable but you might need later on. Kind of oh, the fight. 
right into this way, I think. <sighs> so was a lot of spaceman guns. Until they start doing the orc animations, the execution, my favourite execution will always still be the apocalypse. Also, it's quite into the new patch for if you, anyone watched the stream. The orcs have got some pretty cool kind of bioweapons virtually. They've got like um, a chemical uh, healing sort of uh, shit. They're gonna have a. Um, uh, bomb that you can chuck in actually has a, an area of effect healing so it's quite good if you're in a, in a shit situation you just lob them and heal your guys um, I think obviously it's in place of an actual attack weapon um, attack grenades, you're going to pick one um, the other one you've got is I've got the, the kind of chemical one where you can chuck so if you've got people heavily defending an area you can actually chuck your gun, this grenade into it and it leaves like clouds of gas and smog Sadly, it is a friendly fire weapon, so if there's a big melee combat and you chuck it in there, you'll kill your guys as well as that. Because they generally believe that the um, pain boy is one of the weakest characters, not only for the orbs, but it's actually one of the characters in the game. Um, I mean, a space queen can actually actually have decent weapons to certain degree. Um, space, so the, the, the Apocryphy could actually have these weapons um, as, you know, like standard space marine weapons as well as being able to heal. Whereas the Pain Boy literally could only have a pistol um, and his ability to heal and he's very, very restrictive. Um, he, he's basically a very weak character, except for the fact that if you've got a, a squad that's working really well with each other, obviously have that ability to, to have a lot of communication and keep them maybe behind, safe, um, away from harm. But unless you're doing that, it's really, really a poor, a very big, oh shit. A very, um, a very poor character to play. Yay! Um, so what they're doing is they're adding a lot of kind of chemical sort of warfare to, to your, your pain boy. So he's not only going to be this medic, he's also going to be this kind of um, spreader of filth, basically. Which would be pretty cool, I think. Like yeah, it was something a bit new. I mean, he's got that amazing machine gun pistol, but it's highly inaccurate. I mean, ridiculously inaccurate. Look. Okay, our space moons. I wonder when they're going to put the advancements for because you've got them for space moons already. But you've got nothing for forks. Don't know what they'll have. Could be cool. Uh, so I don't know if it's going to be the next patch or the patch after where they're actually going to start implementing more of the map sort of side of it all. I do like the idea that they were going to... Hey dude, thanks for the follow man. Um, I do love the idea um, that they are going... Ah, Fort Harker, so you um, They are going to potentially have a communal garrison if you've got a, a, a guild or tribe. They're also thinking of ideas of not having the menu system. You appear in a garrison and you use your menu system that way. Um, we don't know don't know there's so many things that they could or might or hopefully will do with defense I actually am going to change this to the big shooter um, and do that um, but yeah I wonder there's so much they're going to add to this and I wonder what they'll actually do be, I think it'll be very very interesting it'll be pretty awesome I think Also, I've heard that um, some people have moaned about the lack of recoil for certain orc weapons. I'm going to say this. 
the orc weapons have very little recoil, but if you look at the size of a standard orc and an orc with this weapon, it is huge. So yes, it might have very little recoil, but your character's like two or three sides of the normal character. And it's not as if you're going to be stealthy at all with this. It's horrendously huge. This is the map of Tome where anyone hasn't seen it. This is what's called a Grand Battle. Grand Battle, you have um, a large fortress you defend and only two points to capture, but the defenders only have a certain amount of um, what's it called respawns as well, so it makes it a little bit more tactical and that sort of side of it all. So if you look at the map here, we, you've got, we've got turrets, we've also got two doors that, as you can tell with the numbers on them, you have to knock that down. Use the Vindicators, the Vindicators actually have to etch the gun, oh, etch the gun from side to side, bit by bit. Um, so it's literally, you use the Vindicator like a catapult, it, it's, you have to etch it sideways bit by bit and lob things onto stuff. Alright dude, how you doing? I haven't streamed for a couple of days mainly because uh, Marklem, it was his stag do, so a few of us were out drinking um, and didn't get banked to really late. It was not in a fit state at all. How you guys doing on Life is Fuel? to not have any um, crates up here which is uh, just lovely, lovely. You know what? Oh yeah, sorry, I'm, you're, you're not playing that. There's so many people in the in the, the tribe that are playing the game, I keep forgetting who actually plays and who doesn't. How's Overwatch doing? This in front of me is a Vindicator. These... Can... Ah, shit. These will destroy the Fort Calvador. But they're slow. And you can't really shoot at, at things, you just kind of... lob. It's literally like a... a, a sci-fi catapult. You know? I'm the squad leader. Um, Just shocking, move, buddy. No 
Top of the list, your squad leader, and that's just what happens. <laughs> what comes that? Oh, it's a glass cannon. So, so Paul, are you actually doing proper competitors in Overwatch? Late ninja. <coughs> if you'd leave vinyls, you just give them an active spawn beacon and let them put where the hell they want to. With a machine gun. further in though. Yeah, there's, there's so many animals. Right, because they're in the grounds, I've got a choice. Loot is going to be good to get the tanks, but it, it's shocking maneuvering around and trying to attack an actual soldier. So, pain boys are very, very weak at the moment, no point. Storm boy or shooter, well slugger, slugger is basically a storm boy without a jetpack. Until they have that door shield, they're alright, but they could be a lot better with that shield. So let's go... Shooter, let's shoot him. The good thing about the slug, I suppose, is you can use them to actually take over points as well as um, Attention to icons, thinking it was a bad aim, just opening fire. Poor guy, I was a dick. 
It's safe to say we're gonna stay A because of the uh, watching the dog and back feel of it. They have to take A to get anything else. They've taken down the doors, so that's that's vindicated outside. What are you watching? Dash at the door, I think. You say there. I can appear that one basically means you're going to be doing nothing. Right. So if you're not shooting anything and you get a, a shield, red shield will cross into it, don't keep shooting at it because you're basically doing nothing to the vehicle. Now I doubt they're going to be able to take A and B in a minute. So I think we'll in the bag. Storm now, maybe jump in and do a little bit more damage up close. 30 seconds, might as well do something. Here we go. Time for a second, I'll be in You can find the front. There you go. Yup, yup, yup. There you go. There's some more shinies. And they've got an achievement for defending Fortress. Loving that, loving that. Let's <laughs> First Dacker, then Choppy, then Looty. <laughs> First Dacker, then Choppy, then Looty. I still love the chat. Let's see if we can get an, at least one more battle in before the end of the night. Fortress Harkus as well, that's another thing. Not only do you seem to keep constantly be up against the same, for one session, the same enemy. Like tonight, except for once, the space mode has always been chaos. Eldar's not been seen. If you also find that you'll have a map, you'll be against, say, chaos. Then the next one comes and you're against chaos again on the same map. It's really weird how it works. I hope it's something that they can actually be more varied. I prefer when I'm starting to play this be tons of different maps always rotating and one minute against Eldar, one minute against Space Marines, the next minute Eldar again and then maybe Chaos. At the moment it doesn't quite work that way either. Um, right. We're on attack. Now, I need, again, I need to remember if they actually have changed this, but last time I checked, we don't have... Uh, let me go... I'll oh, stick that squad, that's fine. Go change it to a heavy, but... That's another thing they were planning to do, because you've got your medic, and you've got your soldiers, and your heavies, and your assaults. Especially with the fact that they have these tanks, they are thinking of maybe adding that sort of repair side of it all. So you've got Mech Boy for, uh, for Orcs, you, you'll have Tech Marines and their versions of Tech Marines for the um, Space Marines and Chaos. Eldar, I'm not too sure. If I don't know much about Eldar, I'm going to be honest, I'm not. Oh, where is she? Where is she? Where is she? That is looted. That's not a quick look. See, so you've got deployed to deep. 
ordnance. Now transport, you got two tanks, you got ordnance. So maybe we do, maybe we do. Um, but I don't remember ever seeing it. Maybe I just have missed it. I mean, let's have a look. We've got. No, we do, we do. Tell a lie. Just saw the, the looted. That looted tanks got one of the demolition cannon. Oh, I failed, I failed this. I failed. Um, my bad. So, yes, yeah, so we're using our looted tanks with demolition cannons. I thought it would be quite good for something different, you know. Um, but it works. I also stand corrected. already that's not too bad I'm going to take kind of the north route which is probably a bad idea because they're quite a common one today but if anybody's watching has never really played the game yet uh, get error This route is a route you can take where you don't really need to do these routes. Should have messed around. Right, go with one of these. Here we go! Time for some lovely war! Some lovely war. I keep saying it, I still love the Ock Banter. I even like how they kind of get over there. Mm -hmm. So south route, you basically take a, a big tunnel in and you end up going to the bowels. Also, you also find that this southern route is usually very undefended. Eventually throughout the game they realise you're coming in through that way and obviously start dealing with it. Would help how you can climb. But a lot of the time I'm gonna be honest, you, you go down that route and you come out the other side and you're there kind of half twitching making sure you've not you know making sure you've not been seen or not walking into a trap and there's nobody there half the time. Let's see what we can do. At least we've got to A a few times. Shouldn't have rolled. Give him an idiot. Shouldn't have rolled. It's a shame pain boys are so shit because when you play the space moves and you, or, or chaos and we used to have him aspiring um, sorcerer and apocryphy about just to give you that expert heal or um, little bits like that but because no one plays a pain boy um, you lose the fact that you haven't got anybody to really you know really kind of help you out I actually might change, change the pain boy with this and try and stay with some guys and just concentrate on healing rather than the actual offensive part of it all. I can have one.
come on, 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 hurry up, 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 done, done. Stay with the Professor Darko. He might not know. He might know what you're doing. Be a professor, no. Any bad boys about? I do think that I'm Gosh, using the upgraded. Um, well, they'll get his skin for the healing Jabba thing. Again, even before the Orcs appeared, I put a heavy amount of my Rogue Trader points into Orc stuff. I got a couple of Space Moon things, but it's mostly Orc. This guy's a slagger. And the gun I'm using I'm pretty sure is not even that accurate but fuck it just looks fun to unload that thing. say on the live stream, I've said this before in, the, in my stream, it did say one orc versus one tactical marine, the tactical marine should always win. Oh, 
personally felt that that was a lot than fair. Bad in the eye, pull a trigger and realize you had two shots. stuck with this. Another weird thing, you jump into, uh, you spot jumps into one of these trucks and it's instinct to actually put you in the back of it, not in the actual front of it. You do most things like space moves, space moves like battlefield if you jump into someone else's vehicle. You're the first seats that are taking up our actual combat. Like you jump into the gunner seat, then you jump into the next gunner seat, then you jump into um, a normal sort of um, transport seat. It's, it's kind of a little bit new. I would prefer that every time I spawned in onto someone like this, the first thing you should go into is that turret. No one mess you with the pain doc. And, and, unless you've got a very, very, very large machine. Then you mess with the pain doc. So we lost the transport. Maybe we should have got out of that. <laughs> Since I first played the Pain Boy, as much as its offensive capabilities is pretty shocking, I actually have to admit I'm enjoying at the moment for this for this actual session past couple of times because I don't I always usually, I like playing medic sort of characters in other games I, I found it really really bad because you you're pretty much a character that will never win a fight but I don't know why today I've, I've, I've enjoyed it a little bit a little bit more should I say
That was good. That was a good melter bomb. A good melter bomb. Bad because you yeah. good melter bomb. I don't think we've got enough time to really do this. 40 odd seconds isn't really going to let us cap a. Uh, it's a shame because we've been doing quite well as well. Plenty of games won. Just a club or a squad leader. I'm gonna be honest, club or squad leader, worth it. Defeated. Four kills, some assists, no revives. It's a shame, because I ended up being a pain bone for half of that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and if you if you have enjoyed, give us a follow if you haven't followed already. Uh, I'll be on tomorrow, hopefully, uh, for some more orky goodness. But again, thank you very much for watching. You guys are awesome. Take care for now.